What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a portable monitor. Now I've been looking to get my hands on one for a while, specifically with USB Type-C capabilities, and I finally found one. This is known as the 15.6 inch portable monitor by Lipow. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1080, it does 60 hertz, and it runs on 5 volts, which was one of my main requirements when I was looking into getting a portable monitor. So these retail anywhere from $130 to $170, depending on where you buy it. I got mine on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. Inside of the box, you're going to get an extra screen protector. Now, this is a huge one. It's going to be kind of hard to put on here. You'll also get the user manual, a 5-volt power adapter, a USB Type-C to regular USB cable, a 6-foot full-size HDMI to mini HDMI cable, and you'll also receive a 6-foot USB Type-C cable. Now, it's USB Type-C on both ends, and it looks pretty beefy. And finally, inside of the box, you'll receive the monitor itself. Now, this is 15.6 inches, 1080p, 60 hertz, HDMI in, or USB Type-C in. The bezel and the back of the unit are constructed of aluminum, and it does have dual stereo speakers built in. It also comes with this nice folding case. It'll protect the screen if you want to put it in your backpack or briefcase, but it also acts as a stand, kind of like those folio tablet cases. It does have a bunch of different configurations built in, so you can kind of prop this up any way you like. On the right-hand side of the unit, we have our power button, our USB Type-C for power in, and our menu rocker. Now, this will allow us to adjust the brightness, the volume, and everything like that. Like I mentioned, this does have dual stereo speakers built in. You'll get one on the right-hand side, one on the left-hand side. Speaking of the left-hand side, we have our mini HDMI input, our USB Type-C input for video in, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack in case you want to hook some headphones up. On the back side of the monitor, there's not much going on, but all of the inputs and outputs are clearly marked. So one of the main reasons I wanted to pick up a portable monitor was so I could hook this up to my Samsung Galaxy S10 and use DeX or Linux on DeX or even just play my favorite emulators on a bigger screen without having to worry about hooking up to a television when I'm on the go. When I initially got the monitor, I was fully aware that I would need to power the monitor also. But to my surprise, as soon as I plugged in the S10, it powered the monitor and sent video signal. So I can use this with my Galaxy S10, my Galaxy Tab S4, and my Galaxy Tab S6 without having external power. The phone itself is sending video signal and power to the monitor, which is a big plus. I was not expecting this at all. Of course, it's gonna kill the battery on the phone or tablet a lot faster because it needs to send power to the monitor, but overall, I think this is an awesome little feature that was built in. So whether I just wanna hook this up to watch YouTube videos on a bigger screen, Netflix, Hulu, or even play my favorite mobile games or emulators, it's gonna work without any external power source. The monitor's menu can be reached by using the menu button on the side of the display. You can control the volume, brightness, contrast, I mean it's just like any kind of regular PC monitor, it's just portable. One downside to powering the monitor like this is the brightness and the volume. It doesn't seem to get as loud if I don't have external power going to the monitor itself, and I can't go over 60% brightness without the monitor cutting off. So what's happening here is I believe the phone is detecting that the monitor is pulling a little more power than it can handle out of this USB Type-C port and it just cuts power to it. Other than that, it does work really well with no external power and the Galaxy device. I also tested it with the Galaxy Tab S6 and some emulation. Now I was gonna do it with the S10, but I didn't have the games loaded up, so I just plugged this right in. It detected the display, and now I can play my favorite retro games on the go with a bigger screen. And this is one of the main reasons I picked this up. I also wanted to test this with the mini HDMI, so I broke out the old Xbox One S, loaded up some Forza, and here it is. 1080p, 60fps. The sound is great here because I do have external power going to the monitor. You can use the provided 5 volt 1 amp power supply, or you could use an external battery, so you could have this fully battery powered if you wanted. Another great use for a portable monitor like this would be using it as a second display for your laptop or even your desktop. You can set it up for mirroring or extending. I just happen to have this extended to the wrong side, so I'm kind of going off to the right-hand side even though the monitor's on the left. 
but it does work well here. So overall, the monitor is actually much better than I thought it would be. It's exactly what I needed. I love the option of just plugging in my phone and it powering the display also. And by the way, this will work in portrait mode, so it's perfect for a secondary display for your desktop or your workstation. A 15.6 inch IPS display at 1080p, 60 hertz, micro HDMI in or USB type C in. The whole thing only weighs 1.7 pounds and it runs on 5 volts, so this is exactly what I was looking for. If you've also been in the market for a portable monitor, you might want to look into the Lapal 15.6 inch 1080p display. Like I mentioned, I did pick mine up on Amazon, so I'll leave links in the description. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running on this monitor, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.